I'm Stu Madison, an experimental test pilot for the LTV Aerospace Corporation. On the 11th of January, 1965, the XC-142 was successfully flown through two conversions and reconversions, thus demonstrating the concept of this new tilt-wing assault transport. The purpose of this film is to bring you up to date on our flight test activities since that date. However, complete conversions and reconversions were successfully accomplished in winds of 8 knots and gusts to 17 knots with all stabilization systems off. Descent boundary investigations were conducted up to 1,400 feet per minute at a 44-knot trim speed. These tests were pursued to the point of heavy airframe buffet and a reduction in lateral stability. The airplane remained completely controllable and recovery was immediate following power application. Military participation began on 19 December 1964. On the 10th, and 12th of March, each of the three military pilots flew the airplane through two conversions and reconversions. Then, on March 26th, the first flight with a full military crew was achieved. This phase of the program was completed on April 20th. Stability and control throughout the entire center of gravity range of the airplane were investigated. Expansion of the flight envelope to date includes conversion and reconversion from 17% to 28% CG locations. Other flight accomplishments include a maximum speed of 445 miles per hour, a maximum altitude of 25,000 feet, a rate of climb of 6,400 feet per minute and rate of descent of 8,200 feet per minute. APU restarts were demonstrated to 25,000 feet. This spring, various emergency configurations were examined. These included landings with an inboard propeller feathered and then with both outboard propellers feathered. Following completion of checkout, the number one airplane made its initial flight. Another milestone came on this same date when three of the XC-142A airplanes flew in a single day. On May 17th, the Propulsion Integrated Test Stand Program, PITS, was completed after accumulating 161 hours of accredited time on transmission system components. While some items required minor corrective action, the transmission system was in good overall condition. In order to investigate these stole capabilities in unprepared areas, the XC-142A was hovered at various heights over a sod area. Taxi runs were then conducted. touch-and-go operations were performed with the wing at 20 degrees. Two landings were made with the wing at 35 degrees. and two takeoffs were accomplished with a wing at 20 degrees. No re-ingestion problems were encountered and there was no damage to the turf area. During this reporting period, the first passenger flew in the cargo compartment of the airplane to obtain first-hand acoustical data and to determine the presence of noxious gases. No traces of gas existed either on the ground or in the air. This spring, for the first time, the cargo doors were successfully operated in flight. On 
On July 9, 1965, the United States Air Force accepted delivery of the first XC-142A at the LTV facility in Dallas. The aircraft was then ferried to Edwards Air Force Base, where the military began a series of operational flight tests, marking another significant milestone in V-STOL development. The longest flight to date was three hours and seven minutes from Dallas to Phoenix, Arizona, en route to Edwards Air Force Base. Completion of the ferry flight to Edwards was made in one hour and 17 minutes. The XC-142A flight test program is continuing at the contractor facility in Dallas and also at Edwards Air Force Base. The second aircraft was delivered to Edwards on 6 August with the remaining three scheduled for delivery during the latter part of 1965 and the early part of 1966. Current major objectives include the 80% structural demonstration and further static margin testing, as well as braking and reverse thrust investigations. The success of our flight test program to date and the continued expansion of our boundary have proven the feasibility of the XC-142A. We feel that further testing will prove its adaptability as a VSTOL military transport.